What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to protect my nectarine tree and apple tree this year from all those bugs. So as you guys can see here in the back here, I have this nice beautiful nectarine tree right here and it's loaded with fruit. And if you take a closer look, there's some of the fruits that got like um, an oozing goo coming out right here, like this thing right here. All right, so I picked that off, all right? So this means is that there's evidence that there's a worm or bugs inside there. So, so there you go. So if you bite this off or open this up, you will see that from the point of entry where this callus or this ooze is coming out inside it, you will see like a path or a trail that the bugs made the worm or the lava all right and that is actually what causing all my fruit to drop and most of you are fruit as well so if you look here i have like a lot of fruit loaded on this tree but if you look down on the ground here there are a lot of fruit that's dropped it's like over here it's like all this bunch of fruit is dropped because the lava it's inside the fruit and that's what it's causing it to drop. All right, so like many of you guys, I do not like to spray stuff on my plant and fruit tree. So, but the most organic thing that I can found is this clay, which is called Olin clay. So I don't know how to pronounce it, so I probably butcher it. All right, but so this is the brand, the Surround WP brand. This video is not sponsored or anything, but this is the most cheapest um, clay that I can found and the brand. And I bought this in bulk. So this is like a 25 pound bag right here. This thing is pretty expensive as well. Uh, calculating the shipping and all that stuff, it's like around 60 bucks-ish and stuff. But, but you don't have to buy this bulk, right? You can buy like a small quantity and I will put the link in the description and we'll link to the product on Amazon. So basically this is a clay and then what you do is that you mix it with water and then you spray on it and then it will protect the fruit and also the plant uh, with this film of coat, of white coat. And then when the bugs land on it and they try to bite onto it, it will create this sappy taste and the bugs will repel and stop doing what it does and try to bite into the fruit and stuff like that. So that's what it does. All right, so to mix this, the ratio is at 1.5 to 3 cups for 1 gallon. So this right here, I have like a 2 gallon bottle of spray right here, but I only fill up to like 1 gallon. So if you guys want need a bottle the link is in the description below as well so we're going to mix this up and i'm going to stop spraying because summer is about to hit we're in june right now and yesterday we just got like a 90 degree day and it's getting very hot and usually see when you start to spray your tree is after you see like um, the first fruit start to set and then all the petals fall off and you start spraying but i'm late in the game because I've been doing all my research and trying to find the best method to protect my fruit tree. And it's still not too late because I still have a lot of fruits on my tree. So I'm gonna protect those fruits. So have some harvest during the summer or in the fall. So this thing is really powdery right here. You guys right there, right? It's like basically like, uh, like flower, and this thing will fly everywhere. So I just want to be careful on this, and I don't want to spill this as well. Oh, it should get like a funnel or something. All right, so to make it easier, just get like a piece of paper and then make it into a funnel, and just pour this in. So I'm gonna use like two cups for this one gallon ratio.
All right, and then we're gonna lock this up really tight. And then what you wanna do is shake it really well. So make sure everything dissolves, it doesn't clog up uh, on your spray. That's it. So now you can see it's like milky in there. Okay, I think we got it. So, give it more pop. We're going to stop swaying. All right, you can see here all this fruit. I want to spray this like that around it. And if you look closely, right, you see that white milk, white milky looking um, water that build up. So that's the coat that's going to protect it once it's dry. So here I got some apple. I'm gonna spray them as well. So this is what it looked like after spraying it. The tree is basically turned white. Alright guys, so there it is. That's how I'm going to protect my fruit tree this year. And we'll see if there's any fruit going to survive this uh, hot, humid summer here in Zone 7, Northern Virginia. So if you guys enjoyed this video or learned something, make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. And I will see you guys on the next video. And uh, make sure to wear protective gear. Even though this thing is organic, it's getting really messy. As you can see here, I got like all white staying on myself right here. And I'll probably die from it.